Once again, you're back with the show that is all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. You are listening to Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. This is the show that talks all about the issues that matter to you, the people that are working, the people that own businesses, the people that are working hard trying to, to really make that 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 the, the drive of our, of our economy, small business, really a thriving success. And one of the supporters of this important small business community is my very good friend, Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, who I'm thrilled to have on with us on Get Down to Business. Congresswoman, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for not only for having me on your show, but for all you do to make sure that small businesses are thriving um, in in my district, actually. And uh, you do a great job, Shalom. Well, Jan, I consider ourselves to be partners in this work. Uh, you, you go off to Washington and you take care of impl- important issues that we'll talk about, like unemployment. And, and, and I'm, I'm here trying to, trying to help uh, you know, bring people together. So it's, it's definitely a partnership and a partnership that I'm very proud of. So, me too. So, Congresswoman, so unemployment. Unemployment is an issue that's being talk, uh, It's being spoken about both on the state level, on the federal government level. What can we do for people that, uh, that are still struggling, people that the economy has improved? Uh, unemployment numbers were just released. We're down to 6.1% unemployment, which means more people are working. But it also means there are still people that are out there that are, that are out there looking. What can we do to help them? I certainly meet them in my office uh, every week, and I'm sure you see a lot of those people because there are 3.2 million Americans who have, whose benefits have expired and really have very little means of support for themselves or their families. And as of June 30th, it was well over 150,000 Illinoisans who have lost these, uh, these benefits. Um, and, and who are these people? I was, uh, I was kind of surprised to find that women 55 and older experience the highest rate of long-term unemployment. 51% of unemployed women aged 55 to 64 are still looking for work after 26 weeks. Um, many of them have been unemployed for um, a year and, and more. And these are people, in order to even qualify for unemployment insurance benefits, you have to be looking for a job. So I talk to people who are sending out dozens and dozens of resumes every week, um, sometimes getting an interview and, and sometimes not. And that's so, such an important piece, and I just want to emphasize to our listeners that something, first of all, your office, Congresswoman, does a fantastic job of, of course, constituent services, helping people you know, apply for un- unemployment benefits, but also helping support them so they can do an effective job search so they can connect with the employers that are out there. And that is so important. So this isn't just about providing the benefits. This is about, you know, the, the full package, about really helping them hopefully get back into the workforce. And we need to do as much as possible to accomplish that. I really appreciate that because these are people, yes, who need um, a bridge to get over a, a really rough spot where they're out of work, but their preference, 99.999% of them, is to get a job. They're not really interested in unemployment insurance benefits, certainly over getting getting work. So we have uh, legislation, and in fact, Congressman Brad Schneider introduced a discharge petition, meaning if we get enough members of the House of Representatives, 218 members, that would include, we'd have to get some Republicans um, to sign this petition, we would be guaranteed a vote in Congress. And I am certain that if a vote were called that it would actually pass. And let's remember that those uh, benefits only go to states that have um, high unemployment, and Illinois does have higher than national unemployment. Um, And so the money would would come here. And I just want to make one other point about that. Illinois loses $25 million a week because unemployment benefits have not been renewed. So this is money that would go into the businesses that you and I are concerned about. Such an important issue. And I know that this is uh, an, another issue that's being discussed primarily on the state level right now about minimum wage. And I know that, that the, you know, the legislative session is over you know, in, in Springfield, but uh, that's an issue that's coming up. And I know businesses have strong feelings. They want to make sure that they can you know, provide, that they can continue to grow. But there are a lot of people out there that are really struggling and trying to make ends meet on a minimum wage at $8 an hour. We've got to balance those issues. And I know that you are, you are a vocal advocate for the folks that are out there working in our communities. 
Yeah, l- let me just make this point that um, the president had also made, that people who work full-time should not have to live in poverty. Minimum wage workers are hardworking people, but they have, have to at least have two jobs, usually, in order to try and even make ends meet. But on the minimum wage, which actually at this point um, is about the same in real dollars as it was in 1968, you simply can't live on, on that. And so um, raising the minimum wage in Washington, we've asked for $10.10 uh, an hour, still is a very, very modest income. But it would lift about 24.5 million workers out of poverty. It would, it would give those that number of workers are raised. It, it would. So, Jen, we've got about 30 seconds remaining. How can people get in touch with your office and find out more about the important work that you do? Call 773-506-7100. Um, we, do, we do do great constituent service, and we're happy to help people in so many different ways. Anything having to do with the federal government, we want to hear from them. That's fantastic. And, uh, Jen, just on a personal note, I, I, I appreciate your strong uh, statements about the uh, tragic loss of those three Israeli teenagers this past week in Israel. So thanks for that, and thanks for all that you do for the business community. You're listening to Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein. Thank you, Congresswoman. Jan Schakowsky.